It's for me. It's more up to how VP try to tie it together. Well, no more seconds left in their bonus time. They'll go for the troll warlord. I have seen this specific hero ran into these heroes because people love going agonims later because you aggressively dispel so, the. Bull very strong draft, I would say, from VP. But Maus, they've got what they want too. It's not a, not a weak draft by any means. It's got a lot of damage, and it will have a good damage mitigation in particular versus the VP draft because they're gonna have the dark seer auras. While the VP draft might not, we'll have, to, we'll have to see what Notice builds on the Pango, because there's sure. a possibility he does go down the aura route, but we'll have to see. We'll see early fight here around the bounty rune. Narman will be able to pick it up, but... He's, he has to skill charge level one. He could just die. probably going to pay with his life indeed, so... Charge skill did get the bounty, but did give up first blood to Kiritich. Barrage. He's got 17 one charges. Yeah, he gets slowed down. Yeah, so, so should be fine. Back over in the mid, they're going to bring over the Phoenix as well to continue to put this pressure onto the tier one. This tower is dead. I mean, as you say, it's, it's just what very difficult for Mouse's lineup to defend towers this early. They're like, double melee heroes, just they don't really contribute much. It's always those ranged heroes with the spam to be able to stop it. Yeah, tower's dead. That's, I think, the earliest tier one I've seen. I saw a seven minute one the other day, but a six minute. That's absurd. His bottom, Kiritich. Oh, they're going to go for him. FNG's going to come in with the backup. Kiritich is he able He's to get down. away? He's not able to. The Iron Shell ends up ticking him down. But FNG might be able to find Force in return. Not quite. Force is into the trees. Narman will fall. See if Antares can find Force. He's got a blood grenade, but Force is hiding. And he'll be okay. I mean, does he see the spray paint? I was going to say, did that spray, <laughs> spray paint kind of give it away? Maybe it's the double bluff, you know? <laughs> I'm going to spray here and TP here. He's like, I'm not here, you know. It's, I gotcha. But no, he will. He'll be able to. I'm gonna go for maybe a wraparound here. It's gonna be cool. Let's see if it ends up working out. See, squad explains very quick to turn the dragon tail stun it's over too deep onto now. Supreme. They're bringing back. They're gonna have the full team here, VP. This is dangerous fight for Mouse so to is try only. and take. Mouse is bringing the gyro as well. I'm gonna drop the wall down. Notice rolling in with rolling thunder. Doesn't want to go up to the high ground. Now VP, VP's gone too far, maybe. I mean, they'll be able to leave Antares behind. If the rest of them get out, they'll. They'll take that VP at least. I mean, still Mouse. If they can get this kill, they can maybe take the tower. See if they, they might chase to get another. G has still got a dive available. Let's see if Kiritich can help out at all. This is a, a pretty deep and slow movement here from Mouse. They're jumping in. They're really going for it. Deep. I mean, Kiritich is going to start trying to turn. He doesn't get the ult off. Gets caught by the stun. Nice stun, Supreme. So, and absolutely timing that at a point where he knew that Kiritich would be holding off the last time to put the ult. He's running into four. And now he's surrounded by them. Squadix. Oh, he'll put the one charge. He's looking for Supreme. He's not going to get him. Supreme's going to live. Squadix dies as well. It, it works for Mouse. They just go for it. Comes in and dies, Little. so. No, I think absolutely. If he gets that off, we had still what the DK and the Rubik coming yep. back in to help out. Easily two kills, maybe more. FNG. No ult yet on the Phoenix. I mean, Naman is going pretty deep again for this one. They get the wall down. I mean, Supreme, Supreme just comes crashing across. They're able to take FNG out. Kiritich. They can look towards Kiritich this time. He's got the ulti. They've got the pulverized to control him for some of it. But indeed, with the rest of the ult, he should be able to chase down Supreme. Now, Supreme's oh, pretty he gave speedy. Pulverize. He actually ended up giving it. See so if they can get out. Bangan's going to go for the TP away. Supreme. I don't know if he can get away from this. He's thinking about going back over to Kiritich. He's very close to getting him. In fact, he's, got he's able to go back in and kill him. Oh, Supreme. I, he's going to get away with this as well. Five and one. He just <laughs> goes back in with the three of them. Takes down the poor old troll and he walks off. Oh, such nice plays. Oh, meanwhile, though, his carry in the mid. Oh, it. He's juking. Dodging oh, the roll. I tell you what, very nice dodges. Oh, and he's, and he's too fast. Uh, look how speedy he is. Now he's ready to turn. They've got a charge coming in as well. Over the no, just telekinesis is there from Antares to put a stop to the pulverize. But they've lost FNG again. Antares will be able to use the stolen pulverize on the Bang and will actually put a stop Mouse to the charge. Mouse is just outnumbering them. But indeed, and it's working. Antares is gone. Notice in Squadix, they're looking towards this fight. I don't know if they want to get stuck into a fight. There's got every, there's five heroes available on Mouse. VP is falling for just brawling too much into this Mouse lineup. And Mouse's lineup is perfectly fine with brawling when they have, what, double Ion Shell on all these melee cores running in. These supports now. The Another one. They found him. Security got any way out of this. Back up Another on his beautiful stun. Indeed, not even a chance to get his ults off. FNG's up to the cliff for the TP. Nothing will stop him, so he'll escape. But uh, yeah, they're finding the troll, shutting down Kiritich, slowing his farm, and making sure that the ultimate continues to be far, far ahead of his counterpart. Supreme is playing it so well. I, I have to give him so much credit, really. After no. he dies first, he's able to make so much happen. And Narman. 
Tries to get the setup onto Antares in the mid. And Armand, he's going to go down. Supreme, he's ready to find a trade, though. He's able to get him with the trample on the BKB to take down Antares. He's probably thinking about it, but no. He'll back a away. A little too deep under the tier two. If his gyro is closer, I think he might just grab the, the pango there, but only not quite in range. One for one trade. BKB was used from Supreme. Now he has to be a little careful of his positioning. He does have the backup of Force, though. So it's that pipe is there. Tail. And indeed, Force with the vacuum is ready to try and help out with the fight. The Supernova's there. They'll opt to kite it out and keep out of range of the Supernova. And now look to go back in. Supreme charges forward. Not able to quite get a grab onto FNG. BP, they're still thinking they're about looking fight. to go back, back in. They're looking to go back in. They're on a burst through Supreme. For Yuna, he's turned up in the gyro and he's ready to start dishing out the damage. Squadix and FNG both getting low, but Kiritic is here. He's able to reach in, take down Begin, and maybe look for more. He's in on top of the gyro and on the darks here. Force Ooh, able to surge away. Goes down. That's the Aegis gone. Squadix has a follow up stun. His yeah. gyro's isolated. Round two. They should be able to find him no problem with Kiritic in position. That was quite strike back. a rough fight for Mouse to take. They tried to get something done with the Aegis. They felt strong. The Supreme dying at the start. And this time, VP, all in position. You know, Kiritic able to turn up. And a big fight for him to turn up to, as he's had a tough opening to the game so far. And in that fight... Very good patience from yeah. Noticed. Not using that Rolling Thunder in the last fight. They still have it available for this upcoming one. Right, they've got Blink on for, so they can look for the setup. He could get a big vacuum combo. It's still not on him yet, though. Yeah. It's coming out on the Courier. Wolf still cool down for 35 as well. Okay. Now, so they're going to try and commit for the Roche. VP. Of course, fully aware. 10 seconds or so till Dragon Form. Oh, oh, doesn't catch anyone no, with the shield crash. Missile's going to be sent immediately over in his direction. Roshan getting pretty low. He's going. Oh. No, he's not. There's, There's the DK form back up. The DK form. They're going to try and go for Narmas straight away. Narmas in with the charge. There's the vacuum on of the three of them. The wall dropped down as well. Supreme charge before pop the BKB. Carry he's trapping on them with the pipes out. They're in the pit. Roshan slow rolling. Thunder goes through. Oh, they get it. He's able to grab the Aegis. Mouse, they're able to get the kill, get the pick up. And with that, can they get the fight though? Notice will fall. So if they can turn over to what Squadix. Squadix with his BKB though. He's doing a lot of damage. He's able to pick up a double. He's going to try and TP out with the remainder of it. And he, he will get away. Seems to be set by looks of it FNG. He's into the trees. He's able to TP escape. And Tyrus will not be as lucky though. So Maus, they take the Roshan, take the Aegis. And they do take the fight. Well done from Narman there, controlling the troll right at the end of it inside the pit to allow only to get the finish last hit as well afterwards. Even the Rolling Thunder came in. Yeah, he got the last. Up they go, Yonin. It's gonna get caught by the Telekinesis into the stolen missile. Some Reds by the beard. They push him in aggressively. That's get him pretty nice. Pretty far behind the tower, but there's the BKB in the old. The egg. Yeah. They're ready to take it out. They'll Egg's focus dead. the supernova immediately. Take down the egg and keep this push going. Tier three falling. Have to hide the egg a little better than that when the gyro's right in front of it with a Marcy. That time they can focus fire it pretty easy. Satanic back up to full HP, 45 seconds still on the Sages. Uh, difficult to mount a defense here now without the Phoenix, without FN FNG and a supernova. Look at this, the uproar. The cracks are going out. Probably just gonna have to let this set go. I'm gonna try and do something, but within the last 15 seconds, the up again they're too? gonna control on the side of the vacuum into the charge over the bow for them unit. He's falling low, he'll drop the ones. He kept the satanic for respawn. Indeed, he's ready to pop it here for round two. Supreme, he's got the grab onto the pango. Grabs him out of the rolling thunder. See if they have the damage to take down. Notice they don't. The rep's still alive. Can they finish it quite off? Yonet wants to get in to be able to get the job done. But the melee wrecks have been protected. 100 HP. I mean, throughout it all, keeping the melee racks alive there. I mean, VP, they'll be pretty happy with that defense. Olnitz looking to go back in. BKB's up in 10 seconds for both him I mean, and they Supreme. Really want it. Yeah, they yeah. have all their BKBs up in 10 seconds on Mouse. They want yeah. to force this. They want to get this melee racks. VP trying to get a wrap around here. 
They still have that wall stolen. I mean, VP knows how much Mouse want to go for this unit. He's going to get caught straight away. I think forced aggressively into the stun. But the unit's having the BKB at the same time. They've got the stun control as well onto the troll. Kiritich, is he able to survive through this? He gets caught by these stuns. Completely surrounded He's and gone. controlled. Kiritich is gone. They get the barracks and they get a big kill on top of it all as well. On to the next one. Is there any creeps? It's coming in through top. They have plenty of time to be able to stay around here and push. And they didn't even use all the BKB. Supreme still has his available. 15 seconds for another pulverizer yeah, if he wants and, to go. And now VP, they've got to consider if they need to use these buybacks. They will FNG, have to. He'll pop his. Kiritich, he's still got 40 seconds. He had to as well. They get the grab onto Yonit, but Yonit's able to keep his distance. Die for from FNG and with Yult. Looks to set up onto the Jarakov. Yonit tries to heal Not up. Enough. The stun comes in. They'll take Yonit down. Nice, Yules. Catches him as the Satanic goes off and then follow up stun right after. They do get the follow up control. Cost them the buyback. It though. does. So Mal's Sure, they lose their carry, but there's BKB, and of course, once he that's there, the, the supernova is going to be pretty much impossible for FNG. Yeah, he obviously has that and Solar. He's been caught out on his own again. Deleted. I think he didn't quite catch, but maybe, was he making the walkover? Did he just pick up that pick demon, up the edge? demon edge? I, I believe, think he might yeah. Have, yeah. He's just feeling like he needs any bit of damage that he can get, but that's a I mean, you're spending up on it, you don't place. have buyback. But also, it's just a dangerous place to go for doing that. Like. A dangerous spot, and you're spent up, you don't have buyback. And the push from Mouse, I'm pretty sure it's going to come gonna pretty come. quickly. Oh, yeah. Or Roche. You know you, you know that the Roche is coming back True. up in a few you moments as well, too. So Mouse can probably look the pressure, but if they want to be really careful, can look for that. And, oh, man. Oh, they're they found another him. one. The charge connects just in time. The TP put to a stop. Noticed. He's got no way out of this. He is gone. He does have buyback available, however. See if he's forced to use it. Dead for 70 seconds. It's a long Roche respawn. Mouse. Don't have to go for it, of course. So can just look at the pressure in this mid lane, won't it? Uh, they can just uh, step up and start the siege once again. Yep, throw all the buffs onto him. There's the buyback from Noticed. They'll give respect to it. And now probably the, the backup and check for Roche. Yeah, check it out. Pick up your tier four neutral items since those have just come up as well. And there's some pretty damn good ones for your team. At least even the once in this, this mid brax it's dying. They, they can't do much more than watch them. Pop the fortification, but who wants to start the fight really on VP? Kiritich, how long? Two gold for MKB. Oh. They'll get the lift back. They MKB's coming. Deep. There's the charge for us straight away. They're going on towards Antares. Antares, he'll be able to jump Pachi out of the side. He gets out alive. A smooth moves there from the Ruby, but the, the damage is done. The They're going straight for the next. Away. BKB was used from Olnit, but still feels strong. So if they can do anything here on the, the bottom set, I mean, Squadix trying to step up. They're trying to get some sort of opening to get the telekinesis on the order. But there's the vacuum man. coming in. Charge forward as well from Narman as VP completely blown apart there. They wow. lose the two of them. Kiritich is out. And Taras is gone. No buybacks on those two. That's Maus. Ah, that was beautiful. I mean, they'll, they'll Even if they banging, lose Bengen, that was uh, sick. They should be them being able to close things up, you'd imagine, with, with a troll death for 90 doing it again. seconds. They're in once more, straight over towards the Phoenix. FNG gone, Squadix to die. That, I had forced landed a five-man vacuum. That's <laughs> insane. GG. Ah, I'm in mouse. Some fantastic moves, and doing it with this melee draft, they really just brought the action. Uh, VP, there's kind of that one moment where they were able to kind of stabilize things a little bit, but little outside bit. of that, it was just all too much. Maus, full control of the game, and I think Yulnit pretty much stayed at the top spot uh, for the entirety of that one on his gyrocopter. I love how they played with... They didn't overextend it. That was the beautiful thing yep. of it. Supreme, he got a little behind right at the first 10 minutes. They made just very good, decisive plays and stopped and created some really good, like, aggressive moves and disengages and re-engages. Overall, a beautiful game for Maus. Very heavy in control. Yep. Like, the thorny thicket facet with the shard, with Octarine Core later in the game, she's just always stopping people. And Puck comes out as a response. Puck is a very good hero to lane versus Invoker, and this is a hero that can bring the tempo early on, which is what, what VP needed to tie the drop yeah. together. Yeah, ever make an aggressive play with the two of them. I, I, I just say, I guess it, it's really all going to be down to Supreme. I mean, honestly, at this sort of pace, maybe Supreme's rotation when it comes through is going to be the, the first blood potential of this game. You're going to look towards... They bring a third hero. They bring ah. the Dark Willow instead. Do it. So they want this kill. Can they get it? They should. Oh, I said, no, oh see, maybe. Back up. Is that another? Oh, they got him. They do. Let's see if VP can get anything in return. They'll find Bangin. 
Looks like they won't be able to have anything else to throw down onto Narman and Yulnus. So they get the trade, but indeed useful things. things. They kept just running to neutrals. <laughs> I mean, I know how the it's a, the 1200 radius, yeah. they just run to the first targets that they see, and it, it tends to be neutral. There creeps a lot of the time. I don't know, it's a very awkward one. But FNG. It looks like dead again. Supreme. They've got numbers coming and in. And Squadix in with the Dream Coil on the two of them. They'll look to burst through the Phoenix first, take Bang and out. Now the turn to chase down force. If they've got any further jumps. Fade Bolt in one. They've Bolt got the orb. Coming in, closes the gap. Final right click. It'll do it. Even with the attempt there to salve up from Force, he won't live. Squadix gets the kill. VP continuing to stay on top of it. <laughs> I think you always see 3 1 1, but you know, it happens. I guess I he, mean, saw, he saw Phoenix isn't six he's either, not right? He's not six yet. He's not six yet on the you Phoenix. You can say but that, but <laughs> when he hits six, it's going to be we'll, kind of we'll funny. We'll see. Yeah, if we'll see if he's ever find a fight in D Way. He turns up with a super nova and to take it out. Antares. I mean, Antares indeed with the stolen pulver. He's able to grab Force. Force will be able to turn and grab him with his own. Fear's coming out, but not in time to save Force. As Force goes down, and now VP, they can turn and look towards Narman. Narman did get Kiritich at the least there, so even though the rotation is coming in from Noticed. And Narman should die for this, though, so a two for one, but indeed the carry's taken out. Supreme may be seeing if you can clean up something. Hey, I mean, and, okay. So diverting the build a little bit, feeling like the vessel's not that important, wants sure. an answer Stick to the, the puck. Other. He's going for Argive. So that makes sense versus this puck in particular. Oh, they're going for him. And they've got him. He's they've got super him in the pit. Out. Jump four from Kiritich. Supreme is dead. Nice move. Great numbers bringing in. Noticed. The Atos this time around is going to be the build for him. So yeah. Auras will come later on. But uh, wanted extra catch. Talking about builds as well. Uh, do you like this? I feel like we're seeing Monkey King's kind of stray away from the Battle Fury build, but Kiritich is going to stick yeah. with it rather than the uh, Gleipnir rush. I feel that we're seeing more carries take when they get the Monkey King in this patch. I'm unsure. I don't know. I, I feel like Leipner just fits better in most situations, but if he feels like he wants this, it's, it's fine. You know, it's, he just wants to be able to get that farm and match the Sven, is what that tells me. Is Bengen? Here comes the Supernova. Can these two take it down? They, they got can. It. Easy egg kill here for Notice and Antares. Zero misses. That's 17% on the Underlord and 9% on the Rubik. Not going to miss. All six hits do happen. I think if they miss one, he actually pops, maybe. It's close. Didn't have backup of a team, any teammates though, so no tornado to cover or anything as bottom. Supreme, eating big damage. And Eden again, and Tars with the stolen crap, just holding Supreme in position into the pit. That's three deaths now for Supreme. Ooh, and that's on, on an Invoker as well. You know, this is a hero. Not a lot of people are playing it right mm -hmm. now. If you start to lose that early momentum, you can fall off pretty hard. Absolutely. To see if it ends up paying off or not. Sure. And if any of that damage mitigation from Warcry and from Primal, you know, yeah. from the uproar matters. I mean, if he's going to stick to the jungle, continue to farm, having the battle fears going to more than they've got. And they're going to try and start a fight here with the Wukong's command. Immediately caught by the fear, though, Kiritich, so we'll get pushed back out of it. On it, God strength popped. He's still caught. And they're considering fighting off the side. Forces in with the pulverize, but he immediately gets destroyed by Effigy. Coming in with the kisses. Kiritich jumps Squadix. off to take down Narm and Supreme. Will get noticed. But Squadix, can he jump out of the fight? Nope. He can't. He jumped into the Sven melee range. Oh, I mean, did, did you was... feel that he was getting a kill out of it? I mean, no, that he, was didn't, crazy. he wasn't that low, was he, at all? No, he was it? almost full HP. Some mistakes coming around. Sure, mate. Yeah. You get punished heavily. I mean, with that and the match, dive. Oh, almost cut the tree. Oh, that was close. Bang and dives in. He's going to dive into his own death, though. Baited. They had the ward <laughs> he, down. He felt that he could do that. I mean, even, even if he gets that, that's a, that's a bit of a cheeky play. Uh, the dive is kind of thin, too. You have to, like, really dive on that specific tree. And, yeah, there's more than enough time for that monkey to react. So, I mean, mistakes all around. That's what makes this fun. 14 to 6. Okay. Pretty hot. On it. On it. He's got BKB. He's feeling strong. Oh, he's super strong. Supreme's gone on first. He's not quite as strong. They get him with the coil and the kisses. Supreme's gone. He got nothing off. Yonit's ready to come in from the side though and try and find some kills in return. Looking caught in the pit. Pops the god strength. Still able to close in onto FNG. But now FNG's able to jump out of the side with a cookie. Finally FNG will fall. As Squadix, he cleans up. Force and maybe see if he can jump in for more. No, he's not going to. This time around, he's not going to jump in on top of the Sven. That's for sure. So he'll hop back with the rest of VP. Happy with taking the two kills there, only losing the one. Supreme dies without doing anything. He just he keeps just running in. I think now he just has to be way more careful with position. He can't run in ghost walked anymore. They've got the sentry coverage always. I think he has to just start playing way more backline. Caught in the front. Sven used God Strength too. Well, notice. 
trying to take some of these ancients. Pretty greedy. We'll see if he gets away with it. He's got Squadix and Antares by his side. He will Very not get away greedy. with it. He is dead. Squadix and Antares, they've, they've got to retreat. They've got to get out of it. Force, he's ready to onslaught forward. See if he can close it on to Antares. But the bleak's nice back blink. up. Antares is away. He also still has Pulverize on Antares. He just keeps stealing it the entire game. So they're unable to cover it. It's, it's taking some time. Can they, can they make the jump in time? It's taking time. Kiritich. He's already looking in for the side. He's going to call for the Bramble. Oh, the silence is there. But before the onslaught comes down, they look to burn through the Dark Willow Norm, and he's gone. But the Roshan has fallen, and Yurnit's been able to claim the Aegis. He just wants to get out. His god strength is wearing off. He yeah, does not want to fight. Just full retreat. Let one hero, two heroes die. If they can get the cores out, they're going to be happy. Short force. He's, he's trying try to leave. get through the Twin Gate. He won't make it out. So oh. they will lose two, three heroes, of course, including Narman at the start of the fight. But they get the Rosh, and it's... they keep the Aegis on the Sven. No, but you take... You, you don't take uh, that. I don't know. It, it took him a bit too long to yeah. really bring it down. VP made it in time. Three big kills. BKB's usage as well. Miss Underlord did just find himself a dragon skill also on top of Grieve. So quite a bit tankier. And yeah, the Warcry aura will be there. Moment. With the Dilf. opening, with the eight toss, I mean, Antares has stepped up as well over in the trees. They managed to jump the back lines. Kiritich straight on towards Narma. The supernova comes out. It's early again. And VP, they're kind of not able to take out the egg, but at the same time, they can wait it out to the side. Supreme Force, they're just having a run for their lives here. Does that get the root connection on towards the Phoenix unit? Out to the side. He's trying to get on top of these heroes, but he's getting kited and controlled. Cannot get on top of Antares. So for Kiritich, him with the bound, let's strike onto the both of them. Yonit puts the BKP, he'll look to notice first. Good damage. See if he can get on top of another target. Turns over towards Antares, he's got the pullback here, will be able to take out a Big double. hits. Now looks over towards Kiritich. Kiritich standing his ground against the Sven for now. Cookie 4 from FNG. Chop the ball down, let's get the stun out. He's Yonit. buffed up, he's moving it. in, can he cut down the Monkey King in time? The bound, strike comes out, Yonit, can he get this? Yours is there, a bit awkward timing with the sun coming doing in. It doesn't matter, Yonit's damage alone, enough to bring him down. He is really doing it. He got out the squad X at some point during this fight. Even though they sustained for the initial go with the war cry, own it. An actual unit. We see Force actually try and see if we can get something more from this. He's able to get the catch onto FNG. He should have him. They're going to effectively get the team one. Oh, they're back. And that's it's... a gem. They're fully back, Owen. Somebody. That would be the dream oh, Force has a blink. Button. There's the opening. They're with the pulverize. On to follow up, drag back here. Into the Lotus the Reflex. The Sven. Yonit, he's able to put the BKB though, stand his ground against Kiritich. At least Is he's he trying to. It's close, he but is. he will succeed. Yonit takes him down. He has the Satanic, he made the difference there. Nice try on Tarez. Throwing that Lotus, I believe, onto the Monkey King. Almost gets him with that reflected stun, but a big kill. They get Kiritich. Jump oh, here, they have BP's this ward. Coming. They break it. Kiritich shows. They're going to be able to jump over towards him, but he's able to get the BKB off. The pulverizes. He's there. held in place. The the gold he's gone. Cut down the monkey kick. 80 seconds. That's a painful loss there. The rest of them just having to run. Squadix should be able to make it away with the orbs and the blinks, but Jen. Spends up for the hex. They have this vision bottom, so they see Notice pushing up a bit far. They're getting a bit split up though. Only wants to go for mid while his team wants to go for bottom. They look like they saw the Monkey King for a second there, right? They pinged it. I think so, they might have. Believe that Only did see him. But VP's already on the disengage. Can notice to get out. He's quite slow. They're just gonna go straight he for him. He is too slow. And with the pulverized unit, he's ready to go with the God Strength, ready to run down the two of them. The Cleaves! And FNG cleaved apart. Oh, an attempt to save. That ward on the right side, they're still catching noticed and it coming out there from Yonit. It's a tire. <laughs> I thought I saw like 3k to be honest with you, but I don't know. It's oh. insane. Bang it. He's got ult. Doesn't want to use it. Yeah, doesn't want to do it. Oh, force. He's in. He's going to go straight away over towards FNG. FNG's having the loads us off out to the side. He's caught the Bramble and one hit from Yonit takes him out. He's got another BKB if he'd like to on the Primal Beast. Tempting to pierce through more. Forrest, he wants to try to get a ward down. They've passed one over to him. This is so tense. 
gonna start working on okay. the Roche, all right. I mean, he can, and he knows he won't, it'll be slow. Of course, he doesn't want to blow the God Strength for it, but uh, he's not gonna really lose much HP doing this. And this is now set to the, get the grab on the Primal Beast at the top. Let's see if they can start in a force. You're They're unnoticed. Get the Gold Strength turn straight over towards the Underlord. He's trying to chase down those, but notice his force the on the side. Head. He'll survive. The egg will fall. Your net chance back in the Blink Dagger. Still hasn't quite been able to kill off the Sun Strike. It hits. It will. That will that finish up the job. On it. He still wants to fight with the Gold Strength. BKB's ready. I force. He's back in. He puts the refresh. The BKB's ready. On slow across towards the two supports. FNG's gone. They look to Squadix. They caught him with the Hex into the he's Pulverize. Dead. Squadix is gone. He has no buy either. Force. Maybe seeing if he can catch Antares as well. Antares, he'll buy himself some time with the soul and pulverize, but the Hex comes in from Nam and into the Tornado from Supreme. They'll catch and kill off the Rubik as well. And Notice is caught on the left side as well. It's he a dieback. back. back for this. They put everything into this fight, VP, to try and make it work, but it just has not. Mouse with so much patience. They wait to strike, and they do perfectly. That was a beautiful sun strike for Supreme, but overall, the catch onto the puck, the Hex... The double hexes, all it takes is one disable. Oh, they, they want to kill Kiritich. They make the move straight down towards the bottom. They, they don't want to go and finish up the Roshan. They know that the Monkey King's still out on the map. They, they, look they might be able to slip him up as well. He's ninja geared. Kiritich, He's going to break. He knows I mean, where he is. Kiritich doesn't expect this. He expects them to Ooh. be trying for the Roshan. See if he can get away from this one. Oh, the Simeon strike. Oh, he's quick on the retreat. He'll get away. Meanwhile, Yonet and Bang, and they're bringing in the top wave, so they're ready to start doing some damage. The building's got strength back up. Like, there's no buy from the Underlord. They might just be able to push forward here, at least for two sets. He might even go to your force. He's, he's asking for it. Oh, he is. Here we go, straight away. He's looking to end it. Oh, my God. 10 seconds till Antares is back up. You know, Squadix, 20 seconds. FNG dead for 15. They might just be able to end it before they I respawn. Think they might. Fortification comes out. Does come back. See how scared he is of the two supports. BKB's back up in eight seconds, so it's getting close to unit just being able to pop the BKB and look at it win the game. The tier fours are gone. He's on to the ancient, found this fort. He's ready to get some kills on the way out. He's able to take down Antares, turns towards the ancient, pops he's the just BKB. Killing the throne. Unit's ready to end this one, and this game is over. This series goes the way of Mouse 2 0. They'll be moving on. Wow. I, Yonit, what a beast. This game, we said he had to deliver. He did. stayed at the top of the network the entire game. Game and he absolutely did deliver the backup of his team, of course, helped, but wow, what a Sven performance. 11 0 I think they'll be putting the eggs in the basket of Yonit very, very often. Yeah, it works I definitely out. Just think so. All on the Sven, make sure that this Sven has a good game. He's going to be ready to carry them. Of course, the smooth moves around them from the rest of the team, but uh, very much all in on the carry strat, and it worked out. Mouse, they take this game, and with that, they take the series 2 0 against VP.